<clears throat> Today, the latest on the British side, Express UK, is the news about um, video resurfaces of body in Russia that resemble Peru is Nazca aliens. And there is written below, the Kremlin says that the body was found in Siberia in 2011, was a hoax. And then there is this video here. Here. Вот его там нашли, короче, ну, смотри. Пойдем Где нашли? I was, by the way, demonstrated this video. This video was demonstrated to me. Вон, 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 видишь? Сейчас в тебя проходим, смотри. Вон она, сука, безобразие. Где лежит? Патрисов. Бывший. Да я хуй знает, погоди, смотри. Вообще, ебать его. I was called that when I see this video. UFO and so on. That's me, that's my show, that's why. Oh. Russians um, were motivated in getting me killed since the beginning of the time. The problem is, however, it was not only Russians that were motivated in doing that. It was also other people that were involved in it that made that stuff not only possible, but they eventually financed, they paid for it. This is a British website, Express UK. Here on the YouTube, you can see that video dates to 12 years ago just about the time when they were sure they're going to get me sooner than later into a psychiatric hospital. This is what the shit was all about. Which they did in 2013, they did. 2000, end of the 2012, they did. But today, I want to talk about something else. Is this stuff here I was going to publish? And eventually, I found a better way of doing it by adding a little extra to it. It says right there, British royals, Germans, you name it, did me, bullied me on how I no longer know who I am, suggested in my face my being even insane. This is how it was. You're crazy. You don't know anymore who you are. See, it didn't really make no difference for me, any difference, I should say, for me to go about something that British Americans like Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Barack Obama, George Bush, Bill Clinton, Richard Nixon, were part of. It make zero sense to me to so basically using a soldier for the war, throwing him all over the war field, and at the same time harassing one, what is it going to be if he's going to open his mouth, literally with psychiatry, about what he have gone through? Of course, there is a difference, because if you are drugged up, you're drugged up. But if you hold a gun in real time, it's in real time, even that being drugged up and beaten up and beaten up in a real time 
is way harder than not being drugged up. It's it takes much more than just walk your line, right? Because you do both. You do this in real time and you do this when you are drugged up. So for me to know, not to know, but to recall a genocide about how it was done, which British royals demanded with other royals, with the Thailand, with all this, demanded from me, dictated, blamed me, rated me on a million occasions in front of the people as insane, crazy, like Angela May, you don't know anymore who you are. You don't, you, you don't you know anymore who you are. Yeah. What for what? I should I should recall these things for what? When I recall them, when I started to recall them, the only thing that happened was there was an ambulance vehicle that came to pick me up in 2013. And again in 2015. That's all there was. That was but I'm not here to brag about this stuff today. I'm to, I want to talk about what the British royals financed in respect to my case, because British royals claimed they paid for my security. They claimed they paid for the police. They claimed they paid, they financed police to, to ensure that I'm for my well-being, that they financed, they took care of me, and they were making sure that everything was okay with me. This is what I am about to discuss today. This is basically what I want to discuss. Maybe I want to discuss this issue here, about this alien here that you see here. And it's going to be maybe... Uh, I need to see something here. I don't understand what British are claiming that the video resurfaced. Resurfaced like, where did the video resurface? Because this is the news from 2011. So my question here is, where here, this video here, where did this video, who resurfaced? They had me here, they delivered me here to see this stuff. And then it was also researched. It was in Moscow that I was told it's a hoax and so on. But what I need to know here under this British website that is advertising this news that as the resurfaced news, you know, that's what I need to know where from the Britons where do you where have you noticed this because everything is written here about what happened in 2011 but it says here on the top that video resurfaces where did the video resurfaced where is the video where who resurfaced the video where who resurfaced the what you resurfaced one or who resurfaced this video? Did the Russians resurfaced this video. If the Russians resurfaced this video, why don't you give the source of this people that have this video resurfaced? Who resurfaced this video? Where is this video resurfaced? What is the problem here? Nowhere is written about Nowhere here is written anything about that the Russians had this video resurface. I don't see it. Some comments are removed 
ahead. Some comments do not appear anywhere, absolutely anywhere. But you know, this is not the video about the alien. Mexican author UFO theorist Jaime Lawson. I don't know. Alien body found in Russia. NASA country reportedly study two hours ago. So a NASA country reported study, thousand year old alien presented to Mexico Congress, they call us Mexican UFO reporter. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any Russian source that would have this news at the surface. But I see rather some Western outlets that are instigating it. Yahoo News Canada, no one will save you. It's Alien versus Deverin, no one will save you review. Okay, I am here today to discuss what British royals paid for my well-being. This is basically what I am here for. I am here today to discuss the issues of these people here who claimed they financed my well-being, my security, and that kind of stuff. This is what I'm going to be discussing in this video. I'm going to be discussing something very, very disgusting. Donald Trump would say, love to use this word disgusting. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to click on this news. Prince William's school had to be swept for explosives every day in a heavy police operation. But this was actually the beginning. And my asking British, literally, why don't they grab Prince Charles for the throat when he started to terrorize the school with a total bullshit, with a total nonsense, whatever he learned from Eastern Europeans on how to terrorize, how to make cows. Prince Charles and Prince Andrew they would ongoingly assault British stress the people out, stress the shit out of the people. Fire them. Hire new. This is what the Princess Diana apparently have chosen for me as a flag that I would have. These are the colors that she wanted me to use as the flag on my own. That she was working on the project to see what kind of flag would fit me, what would be to my personality. And she came up with, as you see like this, Rather strange blue. Hmm. 
Mm, something I was very grateful to her that she paid such a attention to me. What is true is true. I never denied anybody. I absolutely never denied anybody. Good, I always return with the good. Bad, I ignored, but I no longer ignore one. This, based out of what you see she had around her neck, is what I have chosen would be my preferred colors. But I made my own flag, completely my own flag, as you have seen. What I didn't like was the idea about Prince Charles terrorizing with the bombs, anti-bomb squads, British schools, and have questions this have questioned these issues by dressing literally teachers, people at the school where Prince William and Prince Harry, which Prince William and Prince Harry attended. Why to not simply kick them out and have them use private tutors, teachers, and so on? Why is this kind of treatment necessary? Well, it was the beginning of the breakdown of the British society. That's basically what that is. That's how it all started. It was the beginning of the end of the British society. It was a terror bomb squads, police, interrogations, harassment, that kind of stuff went on. And it started at the school, and it then expanded throughout all branches of the British government, literally a terror, in the name of the safety of the children for whom Prince Charles used my case, he presented my case to the British authorities, exampled what was done to me, and so on and so forth, also how dangerous that I am, uh, and why, with what he rationalized, uh, his bomb squads, anti-terror squads, uh, terrorizing the school environment, basically looking for the conflict so that anyone that could get involved with any kind of problem could be eliminated, terminated, and so on. It was a hell. The principal male of the school started to fucking hate me. And it was a, such a beautifully designed, really, really beautifully, beautifully designed matrix of bullshit genocide against me in Britain, uh, through which a British royals have elevated themselves to a very, very special top position, uh, claiming unheard of uh, for British post-World War II privileges. On one side, they he used me as an example of what the Russians were doing with me in Eastern Europe, or what can be done to the children and so on. He was using a tactics literally from the Russians, from the Slovenes, to intimidate, to harass, went into the background before he positioned, before he had a police position the surveillance system with people whom they arranged conflicts and so on. And at the same time, presented me like an evil, somebody very dangerous. Those people that he needed to uh, rationalize that stuff that, that's actually happened me in Britain and so on, are really dangerous even for his children and so on. And, and, and back and forth. This is what Prince Charles, this is what Prince Andrew did. I will never forget uh, Prince William uh, hating me in my face 
for the issues that their parents used a little bit against me. Uh, excuse me only according to his words because I like Princess Diana. Well, there were certain things I liked her and there were other things that I didn't like her even a bit because she alone was involved in a stuff she should have never been. I have no reason to like or dislike anybody for that matter. Now, what uh, British royals really were paying was not about psychiatric institu institutionalization, I don't know how you say, uh, hospitalization, uh, but for much, 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 much more they paid. They paid for a lot of stuff. Uh, Safety-wise, when it comes to my safety-wise, they were paying for this stuff here. Look. Maria Potina Voronceva. Voronceva. Let's see this stuff here. Varvantseva was in his, because I don't think that, that, that stuff like this absolutely can change in any way, but this is a beast. This is not a human being, for one thing. This was a real beast. Varvantseva, daughter of Vladimir Putin. Maybe... This got something to do with this thing here, huh? with the aliens. Let's see this stuff here. This was published by the Russian network in 2021. I haven't seen these pictures very much surfaced anywhere. And I, frankly, I didn't even look for them. You and neither. This picture here, what is it? What is it here? I am just looking for the date. You know, I would expect date to appear at the top of this page, but uh, then again, this was not too long ago, right? Putin his daughter, daughters targeted in a U.S. economic sanctions, which just maybe a few months ago news, right? So what exactly am I doing right now? I am going to establish how far this is going, basically, to April 2022. These photos, you see the photos like this? How far these photos go? That's what I'm trying to see. April. So they go maximum to 2021. And she was posing for, like this, with this kind of photos in media already, long time ago and even berated me she hmm, she told me well how come that you don't recognize me how come that you're going to recognize me yeah so the story with varuantseva and myself is such that i was very much interested in her this is the story of varuantseva However, she found a better opportunity, April 2022. Maria Putina was the daughter that appealed to me. This one here that you see. This is what actually appealed to me. Uh, now, she was more interested in a Dutch boyfriend, Franzen. And long, long ago, she was interested in a Korean guy when it all started. So somehow, me not being lucky, uh, I just always somehow missed 
uh, a rendezvous with her. Uh, but next to the photos like this, she produced photos also of what you, what I have already demonstrated to you, this. Uh, and I mentioned on a new site, that when I had her enough, I told her that she actually looks like this guy here, Milosevic. Yeah. So, tortured, 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 sleep deprivation, tortured, beating terror. Want me does not want me. Want me does do you like me? You don't like me. Do you like me? You don't like me. For yes, 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 and one time no. Why you don't like me? This is how Vladimir Putin, Putanovich work and works. Why you don't like me? It's just because you look like a fucking Milosevic. And uh, Milosevic was a Balkan beast, a butcher of the Balkans, a serial killer, a war criminal that murdered numerous people in Bosnia, Croatia, even in Slovenia, he started the war. I wouldn't even go into Kosovo on how many he murdered in Kosovo. I had her enough. Do you like me? You don't like me? And I gave her the statement that she wanted to hear. Now, what she wanted to hear basically is this stuff here. So, Gay Shoigo was the one who commenced on me when I was 13 years old, 14 years old, enforcing a cancer injections. It started with the cancer injections in my left arm. Lymphoma, he wanted on me. This was the guy who would take me to the hospitals in Moscow, and they would start to inject me with a real cancer. This guy here. They would test drugs, and whatever they started with a growth hormone, retardation in Yugoslavia, in what used to be a Yugoslavia or Greater Serbian Chetnik State, Sefereja, a Republic Slovenia, at my age, probably six months of age, just enough to, for me to match average characteristics, the healthy signs of other babies, and that was the beginning of it, human butchery. And this man continued the saga of the human butchery, is presenting in my case cancer. eventually became replaced by her, probably at her age 16, 15, when she was 15, 16, she would go with me, with the Sergei Shoigo, with the Putin father, to the institutes, to the hospitals, throughout the Moscow, and they demanded for adult physicians, doctors, to comply with her personal requests, so basically injected me with a cancer injections, with a cancerous injections. Since her age 15, it was either Shoigu or she who would take me to these institutes with her other sister that would also accompany sometimes where they would play with injections. It was times when physicians refused whoever did this human butcheries in Russia, in Moscow, to comply with her. It was a Shoigu that would stop by and even personally injected in me cancer. It was cancer. 
I know it was cancer because of the following I will tell you. What started in 1995, which was a poisoning of my body through the liver, through the kidneys, using my teeth literally to contaminate my body, giving me a foot full of oil, poison. This is the tool that I want to demonstrate you. In 1995, Nurse Yanko became celebrated at large. He became a wonder hero through the play like this. This was the first tool and the one I have here, which was used as a secondary tool. I had to pull out due to exactly the same situation upon return from the United States of America for the first time exiting the United States of America after 11 and a half years. Okay, I arrived to the US in 95. I returned to Slovenia for the first time in 19. In 2006, August of 2006, 11 and a half years, nowhere outside of the United States of America, with exception to my ex-wife's parents' family, to Ecuador, to South America, on three occasions. What we see here, basically, what you see here is enough place to squeeze a bigger than a corn area, a filling. You see right there. All this stuff that you see here, this was made like a volcano. Uh, on this side, as you see, it broke apart. All this here, bigger than uh, from the big uh, corn giant. Corn you could squeeze inside every time in Kyotra started they would pull the fillings out drill till it would get into blood obviously whatever they were doing the only thing I remember is the sound they injected with the cancer During every MK Ultra session, this would go out. A per, uh, temporary fillings would be given. What I have here right now, I am going to instead demonstrate to you this here. is basically identical stuff they did to me. I am using something to basically demonstrate rather than the damage of today, whatever it is, I am gonna, 
I'm going to go and video record that stuff. It's identical stuff. In the two that I presented you with right now, there was still a filling inside. But uh, in... Hmm. This is basically... You, do you see that crater right there in the middle of it? The same shit. They were doing exactly, exactly the same thing. Totally, totally identical. It was the nurse, Ianko, who convinced me it was in my best interest to put, let me demonstrate you a little bit, give you a total description of this. The nurse Ianko became a superhero during MK Ultra. Yeah. The nurse Yanko celebrated himself in front of Angela Merkel and British royals, Joe Biden, Romney, Lindsey Graham, George Bush, everybody, all these Illuminati top circles, la cream of this world with ability to actually now i don't have a pliers right when you look at my teeth here they're not in line they're not in line because during MK Ultra, when I would get injections in my jaws, and I would feel my teeth fucking going like they're gonna come out every fucking time and they just fell out. <laughs> huh? Yanko. You know what Yanko stated me? To make sure to tell you what I stated right now, and the next time that he's gonna kick my brain out, my teeth and everything. Go like this, and start to really array your teeth. Start to fuck with your teeth. Start to rearrange them in your jaws, like a, with a screwdriver, you turn the, the tooth. And they are no longer like perfectly even as it was my case. They hated me to have strong, stronger than diamond teeth. It was unprecedented hatred. They were fucking with my teeth taking the plums out was those plums from plumbium i don't know how you say that swings swings plumbium i think that they were taking out poisoning and giving them back and intimidating me that all my teeth are gonna fall out that from all my teeth the teeth are gonna fall out it's no good it was yanko was doing that stuff not yanko is a, a nurse dentist so you have a dentist nurse giving you injections in your jaws and fucking literally with your teeth when you are 23 years old 24 25 26 literally fucking with your teeth literally demonstrating you how and you could feel it made me feel like all my fucking teeth are gonna fell out literally he insisted me that i have to get a job from the dentist or i'm gonna lose all my teeth that he is still somehow fixing my teeth and but if i don't get the job done with the dentist 
and all my teeth are going to go to hell. How do you like that kind of stuff? It was the job done in Ecuador through my ex-wife who arranged that a dentist would go and drill even further and make more extensive damage to my teeth, actually just extensive enough for them to penetrate into the area of where you could have a contact with the blood. And so since they were taking out the plums and contaminating also blood with it, it was injections, a cancer injections, and it was contamination with through the kidneys, through the liver, with uh, mm, heavy poisoning, and through the teeth. It was all done simultaneously. And I told you about the left leg, what they were doing with my left leg, what they were jumping on my left leg, literally, to cause as much harm as possible because they wanted to create a dots. They wanted to create the dots uh, where the cancer, basically the cancer dots, the cancer would explode. And that was more done with the cancer dots. Today, this is the video about this lady here. And here, so what there is something about this alien that I became interested in, all through. I don't see how this applies to me this time from the Russian media. Somebody else appears to be more interested. This is examination. On Everyone should have some kind of colorectal cancer screening routine by the age of 50. Even sooner if you have a family history or other... I have had uh, probably done at least uh, over the course of the years under MK Ultra. Uh, they probably have done to me like a hundred at least minimum 100 examinations. The problem was there were not also examinations from the cancer. This is the biggest problem. Everyone should have some kind of colorectal cancer it screen. Was not, it was not a screening. This one has a problem with a copy paste somehow. Control C, it's not, it doesn't do the job. To make the story short, They would enter my intestines examine that stuff and on one occasion, more than one occasion, on two or three occasions, I noticed them uh, having uh, discussions about my intestines. I noticed them, uh, it was again Shoigu who was involved in this stuff, that even suggested me that he just did. Joe Biden 
demanded from me total uh, like freeze. It would demand from me like totally to freeze, basically to 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 totally. We're gonna do one of those, Bob. You know, we're gonna do one of those. We're gonna be doing one of those. Sergei Shoigu literally suggested that demanded from the physicians to scratch the intestine area. Whatever they did, I do not know. He guaranteed me that he did and so on. So I'm going to give you a good feeling what MK Ultra was like, what MK Ultra is. MK Ultra is this here. Maria Putina Varonceva, who, you know, what was interesting, the next day, these people would pose uh, with you on the beach, asking you and, you know, having fun on the beach, basically. That's what's interesting about these people. They don't, they do stuff like this in the background, but on the surface, they are, it's plenty laughing around you. You find yourself afterwards, uh, after the torture on the beach. They did the same thing in Britain. British did the same thing. It was the same shit. The reality of MK Ultra is what I am telling you. But the surface, which they have used on a surface for their own protection, they did the stuff I have told you about right now. Varwantseva, that's when she already grew up and got those degrees and so on. And that kind of stuff took place sometimes in 2011 under the Vladimir Putin's guidance as his father demanded to here scratch my bones here that you see here. They would go and they would, uh, I don't know what they have done. I don't know what they would be doing, but I remember it was very painful. Uh, she, she was like, no, no, it, just uh, hold on a little bit more, a little bit more. And they were doing, they were literally into bones. They literally injected, probably maybe even scratched the bones when they injected. Uh, figure out that the first signs of the cancer are going to appear to me here, in this area here. She was sure. Front. This is also where she stabbed with injections. Scratched the bone, basically, the front bone with injections. Per request of her father, Vladimir Putin. This is MK Ultra. This is this is basically reality. The next day you're gonna have these people posing next to you somewhere on the beach, and it's fun asking if you want to marry her. Uh, which one do you want to marry, her or her sister, and so on? This is MK Ultra. This is how. You, this is this is the re, this is the real stuff I'm talking to you about. I want to look hopefully as obnoxious as I possibly can. In 2006, upon my return from the United States of America for the first time within 11 and a half years, Vladimir Putin uh, summoned a Slovenian delegation to the Moscow, to Moscovia, Milan Kuchan and all these Slovenian politicians, Pahar and so on, police and so on. It was, I wouldn't say memorandum, but it was like a decree, the order, the order. It was the order that every, for every MK Ultra session before one to take place in international circles, 
I am to be transported to the Moscow for injecting the cancer inject injections. What started? What started with a giving me, feeding me with the most possibly poisonous food, with a food that will definitely leave you with damage, uh, cysts on your kidneys, and so on. Cancer uh, was systematically replaced with um, using whatever I possibly could use to defend myself, yeah? Like, let's say, garlic kills cancer cells and so on, yes? Um, but, or let's say, uh, cherries are good for your kidneys and so on. But the thing about this is that they used garlic to further damage internal organs. In other words, they feed it so much with the garlic that would cause really a damage to internal organs further. The same thing was with the cherries, which they used to uh, damage intestines because they would only start to feed you with cherries. And diarrhea, this was a normal thing during MK Ultra. <laughs> um, yeah, but every time when they would reintroduce me back to the normal life, so you, do you understand? First, it's a cancer. Once they produce the cancer, once they, they claim that they produced cysts, that was in as early as in 1999. Um, once they claim they produced uh, kidney, liver damage, intestine damage, uh, they would start to use the stuff that otherwise would uh, help you out in excessive, you know, when body no longer could support itself, they would replace the food and start to use the stuff that you could use to your benefit in this throughout the exercise, literally whatever is necessary to keep the body functional so that one can have immune system defend one. Yeah. So what they were doing is they were not weakening the body, but they were preparing the body the, for a failure under the optimum, under the optimal conditions for the body uh, to function. Now, you understand what I am saying, even if whatever you would use, that kind of stuff also involved the cancer pills. They started to feed me also with the cancer pills. And I already told you about the backpacks, how they put the straps, sometimes even bricks around my waist on a belt. Uh, they were just doing the stuff, everything possible to cause as many as possible abnormalities in the body, so the body eventually would could nothing other but fail. For me to survive this ordeal, I made a big mistake in 2001 when I started to exercise and I became really fit again that I did that stuff. It was a tremendous mistake. For me, the paramount way to survive was to block these indicators through just basically consuming food and don't give a fuck about anything, literally just doing my stuff, hoping somebody that would pull me out of this shit. Um, because they didn't get real readings about the body, how it functions under really optimal conditions. Because when you live, when you lose weight, those conditions, I believe, still are not exactly the same as those where you have where you have a lot of remember when I was so fat weight and that's what probably still keeps me on the surface um, as for everything else what the Joe Biden is doing this is disgusting Joe Biden that gave me with the Germans with the British all kinds of uh, advice really, really lies, misadvice, 
terror advice through the fake news. Fake news because it really wouldn't pertain to my issues, and it was only used for the terror, which they prepared advance through their mainstream media. Like this one died from Hollywood that was involved, and that one died because of this, and that one died because of that, and this one has a cancer, this kind of cancer, and that one has that kind of cancer, and so on. So it was scare, panic. They want my website to look as fucking stupid as possible. That's how they kill you. They kill. They killed through the psychiatric hospitalization. That's how you get your gag over your mouths. Interesting that this one also. This one, when I came back in two thousand and six, from uh, United States, for the first time, the only thing I did was I went straight to the dentist and I get one pulled out. But for this tooth here, and they did the same thing. They also, when they hijacked me from Poland, the tooth would not break off. Even if, even after they, they would just, with the machine, they would just go and Novlian did that stuff. Novo Mesto also here, General Hospital in Novlian did that kind of stuff. They were using those kind of services. Whatever Yanko started, it was the dentist that for years afterwards. Uh, so it would break off. According to the police, it was shit inside that was being used to drive me a little bit insane. Uh, I don't know how you say that. Mocus, whatever, that created itself inside. So. Basically the same thing, same issues, same shit, over and over and over and over and over again. I have such a problem when I think about what I wrote about this stuff here. When I recall these people laughing at me and saying, ah, oh, you know, you don't even know who you are. You, you are normal, but now you're no longer normal. What is so fucking funny about doing stuff like this to a human being. I mean, this is just my question. Of course, I apologize for asking this kind of question after all, basically. You see, this is what the fuck I am, I'm a UFO, right? I resent British for not placing a military boot on Prince Charles's throat when he started with a terror like this at the school when you when he started to intimidate you and you're chicken out like a cowards. You started to fall apart basically rather than to stand up and question him what exactly is going on. Request him from one to have his children pulled out, educated either elsewhere or at home in his privacy, whatever, rather than having a bomb squads ransack the school, stress teachers, stress children, and so on, that you have obeyed this kind of this kinds of orders, which were from one end used to ensure basically their well-being because of the people who existed in my case to cause such a harm, whom, by the way, you never gave a fuck about what went on with me, the stuff that, all this stuff that you ensure about our well-being and all that stuff and in my name that had to be done and all this stuff, you never, you never secured anything, assured anything for me. I mean, I really resent you for your double standards because it's more than just the British royals. I mean, this is the, this, the stuff that you allowed yourself like this, for this to go on. No, I don't, I, I have a real problem with it. I mean, how the hell do you, how, how can you do this? I mean, I don't understand.
I don't get it. I don't get it. It's, it's Great Britain. I had a different idea about it, Britain. I had a really good idea about it, Britain. Today, I have a totally different idea about Britain. Today, I don't know how to see, how to view British. I have a problem with it. Tremendous problem with it. I don't know how I would even regard your issues pertaining to my cases as a double standard or as something different, something that you have done to some nations in the past already. What exactly am I closer to? Because for me personally, the way I see myself, based on your observation, based on your views, so this is here is basically what I am. I'm now almost age 52, almost 52 in December. It's rather crazy to read about the news like this. It's rather crazy to see American President Joe Biden, who so much misinterpreted stuff, knowing about everything I stated in this video went on. Under what kind of circumstances? You guys all fucking waited for one thing, and that's basically bone cancer. You understand? I'm going to tell you exactly what you guys waited on. And when I say what you guys, this here is basically guys. This one here is age 39. Few days ago, was 39 years old. This one here is age 41. This one here is age 38. They told me not to say that I saw you guys together inside of this house here on a million occasions, because this would be too many times. But if I said a thousand times, they gave me okay. Yeah, you can say that. Lady that Google now presented as The way she wanted me to see her is Milosevic, basically. Is Milosevic. This is how she wanted to be. She wanted to be seen like a doctor death. This is his second daughter right here. This one, I never liked her based on her physics. And he's got more daughters anyways. And it doesn't matter. He also has some. But sons are not convenient in this kind of business. It's better, it's more convenient when you have, when you have daughters. Because with the daughters, you get to ask your victim. She's 37. Isn't it funny? One day you're stabbing the man with a cancer injection. So the next day you pose with him on the beach. It was the same shit with the British royals. And these kids all together claimed together united vendetta against me on how they will and we will, we will, we will, we will, we already reached consensus, we will, and we will, and so on. <laughs> the best friends, this one here is 44 years old. 
Her sister is 36 years old. No longer the best friends since 2012, 2013-2012. Inside of our house, not the best friends. But outside of our house, in Thailand, or in Russia, or in Britannia, still the best friends. Yeah, you get it? So these are the kids, these are the people that I asked, what part of it is it that you want to share with me? Who became a politician at age two years of age, two years old. This is the video, however, that is still missing from this side. And it's going to be listed below to give you a total, give in depth the explanation about how the cancer stuff was used in my case under what kind of conditions, how they, you know, and this is also basically how I have to accept under genocide conditions is how I have to accept equality, your Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, ICC, Remember, guys, this guy is here from Southern Poverty Law Center. Black Lives Matter and so on. For you, it was so important, the equality and this is the kind of equality that you contributed in this world, and this is the kind of equality that you demand to be enforced in this world. And it's basically what I owe you. It's what I owe you all. Is this question here. What is it that you want to share with me? And who are you to do the stuff like this to people? I'm a human being. You tried to alienate me. You tried to, you did alienate me. What you did is a mega genocide. That's a mag daddy. That's a father of all human genocide that the world witnessed. But it cleaned, climbed to the surface for the world to see you on. For the world to see through you, for the world to know you, wherever you are, whatever shopping center you are, whatever hospital you are, at whatever work you are, at whatever castle you are hiding, wherever you are walking, whatever you are doing, with whomever you talk, for the people to see through you, to know you, who you are, what you are, what your equality is all about. You really want to share the money with somebody who was guilty to be born? Maria Putina, the daughter of Vladimir Putin, and forced with Sergei Shoigu these injections. Since her age 15, before it was Shoigu, the man who would do that stuff. And then she took control over this stuff. Decree, the order, the law for the Slovenian police prior to every anti ultra session that would commence once they would get me in my hands, in their hands, was to deliver me to the Moscow. And it was in the Moscow where they would inject me with whatever they were injecting me with, but less the cancer it was not. 
And as I stated, they have also used the pills. They have also used other stuff upon the end of the MKO transitions to reintroduce me back into my environment, such a beautiful environment. Ocean of joblessness and voila, people at the United Nations eagerly waiting for my complaint to come on their table. That's basically people who were involved for the last, in his genocide for the last 50 years. People who observed these butcheries, participated in butcheries, intimidated inside of United Nations. In Switzerland, in United States, and in other locations. So, thanks for watching this video. Till next time.